And right now at six, crashes like these, like this one I should say, have a bipartisan group of lawmakers calling for red light cameras as the most dangerous intersections across Milwaukee. State law currently prohibits the use of that type of automated enforcement technology. But in today's Project Drive Saper report, Ben Jordan goes 360 to explain how the cameras would work and why the idea is facing some pushback. Within the past five years, Milwaukee police data shows nearly 40,000 drivers have gotten tickets for speeding at least 20 over the limit, and more than 2,000 citations have been issued for running red lights. MPD says those are two of the most dangerous forms of reckless driving. Some lawmakers think red light cameras would only enhance enforcement and reduce deadly crashes. Let's go 360 to hear from a variety of perspectives about whether red light cameras could address dangerous driving behaviors in Milwaukee. A Democratic lawmaker shares how her legislation would work in the city. A Republican senator explains why he'll vote against it. Milwaukee's mayor reveals where he stands on the proposal, but we start with two people who drive the city's streets every day. Sal Nazir used to live in Illinois, where red light cameras can be found in nearly 70 communities. He thinks it's time they're utilized in Milwaukee. It will deter at least a fraction of people so that it would make it a little bit easier for people to be in the area. Pam McCreary doesn't think red light cameras are the answer. I don't know how that's going to stop anyone from doing it. You know, personally, I wouldn't mind. I mean, if I did it, I did it. I pay the consequences. However, those who are reckless drivers, they don't care. Representative Lakeisha Myers says her bill would allow red light cameras at up to five high risk intersections in every aldermanic district, totaling no more than 75 citywide. Violators would be mailed a 40 to $100 ticket if they're caught running a red light or speeding at least 20 miles over the limit. Representative Myers bill says the data collected from the cameras would be owned by the city and automatically deleted after the ticket is paid. Additionally, it could not be shared with third parties to protect people's privacy. How does this serve as a deterrent if people get the tickets and don't pay the fine? Well, I think the courts already have mechanisms in place for that. Um, yes, there are people who if they don't pay their fines, they end up with a bench warrant. Let's compare to Chicago's red light camera program. The Windy City fines are nearly the same, but violations start at just six miles per hour over the limit. Chicago has cameras placed at 151 intersections and city data shows it's resulting in a 57% reduction in crashes at those locations. Back in Wisconsin, the push for red light cameras and photo enforcement to address reckless driving in Milwaukee started five years ago. The latest effort led by Representative Myers failed in the spring. What gives you hope that it could be a different outcome this time? Uh, I think the legislation had bipartisan support. I think people understand if you work and live in the metro area, um, how big a deal reckless driving has become. Um, there are people who have healthy fear of driving on certain streets. And I think that this is something that is seen as um, a solution. While Representative Myers says more Republican lawmakers have agreed to sponsor the bill, Senator Van Wangard says he isn't one of them. I do not see uh, red light cameras as being the way to that's going to solve this problem. If anything, I think it's going to make it worse. Senator Wangard believes the real solution is having more Milwaukee police officers assigned to traffic patrol. The reason I don't support it is the thought is we're going to put cameras a mechanical device in place of where an officer should be. I don't have the money to put a police officer on every corner to stop every traffic infraction. Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson says he fully supports bringing red light cameras to Milwaukee. He believes it's an effective tool to deter reckless driving and punish egregious behavior. If we have technology that we are able to use in order to address the situation, then why wouldn't we use it? We need the state to give us permission to do that. Representative Meyer says if this bill passes, it would allow Milwaukee to launch a five year pilot program to determine whether red light cameras are truly effective. She also notes the equipment supplier would be compensated by the city with a flat monthly fee. This issue is expected to be addressed again in January. Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.